Hi, this is Coach Jeremy from Pneumatica Coaching Services and today we're going to be speaking about purpose. And um, I love art. I love drawing and I'm actually pretty good at it. When I was at Lenana School, I took art as one of my core subjects. I mean, when we did so many different types of, of art, we did mosaics, portraits, collages, pottery, and even some sculpting. And one of the most important thing that an artist needs is his tools. Did you know that there are 13 shades of pencils, each with their specific use? There are the H's and the B's, and then there is the HB in between. So there are six H's which are light, they are used for light shading, and there are six B's which are dark, and are used for shading the dark areas. And the same goes for painting brushes. There are different types of paint brushes. Each has a purpose. Each has a specific use, a specific purpose that brings out a desired result. The dictionary defines purpose as the intention, aim, or function of something. It says this is the thing that something is supposed to achieve. Or a meaning of something that is important or valuable to you. Or what somebody is trying to achieve. In other words, what this means is that purpose is what something or somebody is meant to do what they are designed or created to achieve. The best way to give an example is to use tools. We use tools in everyday life. A djembe, for example, was made for digging. A spoon was made for eating. Now imagine if you tried eating your rice or pilau using a djembe and you tried digging a farm using a spoon. It is possible you can actually do it, but it wouldn't be very comfortable. It would be very hard and, and just literally unnecessary. Because that's not what those tools were used for. A djembe was not created to eat, or to use for eating, neither was a spoon created for digging. And because every tool has its own purpose, has its own need or something that it was meant to achieve. And we can break down the purpose of every tool into a key statement. That the purpose of every tool is to make work easy. Or the ability to do things easier or more comfortable or more relaxing. Cars, for example, have made it easy for us to travel long distances. Shoes have made it comfortable for us to walk. This is the same for each and every one of us. No matter our age, our shape, our nationality, what we like, we all have a singular and common purpose. Just the same way that tools have the common purpose of making work easier, we have the common purpose of giving God glory or of praising and worshipping the Lord our God. To praise his name that when people come into our lives and when we interact with people, they will be able to experience how good and amazing God is. Because he is working in us and we are his instruments. Like I said, I did art. And one of the key tools in art is a pencil. The pencil we, is an instrument that the artist uses. And I can give you a pencil and tell you to draw the image of a person or a picture of something that you like, of a cow, a friend, a building, whatever it may be. And we would see a lot of differences in the images or the pictures that people draw. Some would do a very easy kind of drawing. 
Some would be able to do a good kind of drawing and then others would do an excellent and detailed type of drawing. But they all are using the same pencil. Is it the pencil that is drawing or is it the person who is using the pencil? The pencil is just a tool that shows how excellent someone is at drawing. Without the pencil, we really wouldn't be able to know whether someone is an artist. But the pencil gives them an opportunity to express their artistic side and we are able to see how artistic are they. And there is a saying that goes around that says, a poor workman always blames his tools. In other words, meaning that a lazy person always uses their tools as an excuse. They say such things as, if I had a better djembe, I would have been able to dig all this farm. And as a coach, I've also witnessed such people saying such things on the field. If I only had better shoes, I would be able to play the ball well. There must be something wrong with this ball. I'm used to playing this other type of ball. We always hear such kinds of things. But all that is happening is that the tool is exposing what kind of person the worker is. I can give you the same ball that I give to Cristiano, Messi, Ronaldinho, whoever it may be, the great athletes in soccer. What they will be able to do with that ball is very different from what you will be able to do. Because they are able to manipulate the instrument to showcase their skill, their talent and what they have. And that's what it means that a good workman or a tool showcases who a person is. It showcases what their capabilities are. And each and every one of us is an instrument. And there are two main people who want to use us. God wants to use us as his instrument of glory. And the enemy wants to use us as his instrument of destruction. The devil, I mean. And when we give our lives to God, he uses us to do good that people may be able to see that he is a loving God, that he is a good God, that he is a caring God, and that he wants to bring life into our lives. And we can also give ourselves to the enemy. And usually what happens when we give ourselves to the enemy, we find ourselves doing sinful acts. We find ourselves doing things that lead to destruction, to cheating, to lying, to coveting, to breaking people down. That's because the devil is destructive. That is his nature. So when we give ourselves to him, what we will be used for is destruction. And when we give ourselves to God, he is good, he is loving, he is caring. So what we will be used for are things that are good, are pleasing, are caring. And we have all been given an opportunity to choose who we will serve and make great things happen in us. We all have various talents, skills, abilities, ideas, thoughts, all sorts of things. We all have those different characteristics in our lives. And we can either give them to be used by the enemy, that for the work of evil, we can give our skills and talents to be used for the work of the enemy, and that can be our purpose. Or we can give our skills, our talents, our ideas, to be used by the Lord so that good things may come out of them.
We can give ourselves to him that he may use us to show his love, his kindness and his goodness. A tool only brings out what is already within the person using the tool. If you are a good artist, the artistic tools will showcase how good of an artist you are. If you are a good footballer, the ball will showcase how good you are. And so, the same thing because we are instruments, we are vessels. That's what the Bible says, we are vessels. And we can separate ourselves to be vessels that are used for the glory of God. And who better than to use us, to use our lives, than the one who is eternally good, the one who is love, the one whose character is life-giving, and who desires to make all men love him, see him, and just be with him eternally. Who desires to save each and every one of us. And we can all be an instrument of God when we believe in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and sanctify ourselves for him. What that means is that we tell God and we ask God to set us apart for his good and wonderful purpose, what he intends to do with us. And we can be sure of this, that whatever God uses us for, whatever he desires to use us for will be good because he is a good God. Whatever the Lord desires to do with our lives, will be wonderful because he is wonderful so as we confess our sins as we accept jesus christ into our lives and as we offer ourselves as living sacrifices the lord is able to use us and we find our purpose in however he uses us because you know what? He is the one who made us. He is the one who created us. He is the one who gave us the characteristics that we have. And he will use these characteristics to build our lives, to bless the lives of others, and to ensure that others are able to experience his love, his kindness, his goodness. And his glory will shine through our lives. So I have a question for us today. How would you like to fulfill your purpose as an instrument of light or as an instrument of darkness? Which one will you choose? To serve the Lord or to serve the enemy? And I urge you to choose light, to choose life, to choose the Lord. Because he made you and he will not abuse you, but rather he will use you for glory. That men may see and believe there is a God who loves, who cares and who does amazing things. And that is our core purpose, to showcase the glory of God. So thank you for listening today on our short conversation on purpose. We will be having a prayer on Sunday at 4 p.m. on Facebook Live. You can search PCS Coach on Facebook. We'll be having a prayer on the Father's Heart at 4 p.m. and we hope that you'll be able to join us and pray together as we ask for the love of God to fill our hearts and to transform us. God bless you and God keep you.